As the reputation of a vast antivirus plummets amidst reports of sharing user data, we suggest four changes to privacy settings for those choosing not to look elsewhere. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. We're long time users of Avast Antivirus and we've recommended it as our antivirus of choice in a previous tutorial, even taking to our comments section to defend it from those who've questioned its effectiveness. In particular, we welcome the fact that Avast offers a competent free version, in an era where subscription models gladly return to their loyal user base, locking them into an expensive annual tribute. However, in early 2020, a joint investigation by PC Mag and Motherboard has reported on the trade in aggregated user data, which, whilst theoretically not personally identifiable, can easily be combined with existing databases to build an ever more extensive user profile. For many, that represents the end of the line for Avast, and the time to reach for the comfort of a paid solution. But if, after consideration, you're prepared to stay with Avast, we suggest four privacy settings changes which will go some way toward enhancing your privacy. In a new installation, be sure to click the No Thanks option at this dialog, rather than the appealing green I Agree button. There really is no identifiable benefit to users from agreeing, and safety first should always be our priority when sharing personal information. From an existing installation, we launch the main interface in one of three ways. If you've kept a shortcut icon on your desktop, double clicking it will take you to the main interface. Also available from your desktop, although possibly hidden amongst other quick launch icons, is another opportunity to access the main interface from a simple click. A third option is to click the start button and select the Avast entry in the menu. On a typical alphabetical arrangement, this should be easy to locate. Having arrived at the main interface, we click the icon in the upper right for a menu, from which we select the settings option. At the settings dialog, we select data settings and are presented with three requests for permission to use our data in the manner described. Our recommendation here is to ensure that all three boxes are not ticked, to ensure that Avast and its partners don't have permission to use your data. Whether this applies retrospectively to data already obtained is unclear. Clicking the final link presents a summary of the way in which data is used. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.